Good morning, everyone. I, I'm Ross Campbell. Sorry, Mike's a little loud. This will be our first episode of Crab Talk here. We got joining me are my sports experts, Anthony Rosakos, Alex Fridley, and Brooks Bloomer. And so our first question of the day, we're going to be talking about who the best offensive player in the NFL is this year. All right, Anthony, let's hear it. Yeah, let's, you know, let's hear the quarterbacks. <laughs> we'll do quarterback first? Yeah, quarterbacks. All right, so we got Tom Brady. He's got 5,000 passing yards. Yeah, just read all the – like, we don't have to know all the stats. We can get – right so We got Tom Brady, Justin Herbert, <laughs> <laughs> Matthew Stafford, Patrick Mahomes, Derek Carr, Joe Burrow, Dak Prescott, Josh Allen, Kirk Cousins, and Aaron Rodgers. I'm going to be completely honest with you. Kirk Cousins should not be on this list. He is not good. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that, Anthony? I agree. Dude, I just don't think he's got the material to play in the NFL, you know? Well, I mean, he <laughs> he's starting quarterback on his team, but, like, I, Kirk just can't really get the job done in clutch situations. Allen one. Josh Allen, I think he is up there, too. You got Patty Mahomes. He's He's got talent surrounding all, like, you got Tyreek Hill, Travis Kelsey, all of them. He has really good teams, but he also has some pretty – uh, yeah. Like, pretty mm -hmm. decent years, if I'm being honest. Yeah. I didn't even notice Dak did better than Burrow this year. Yeah, but, yeah. you know, Dak Prescott can't win in the first round of the playoffs. Well, neither can Aaron Rodgers. Aaron's getting pretty old, too. I think it's about Aaron's time to call it quits, you know. Tom Brady's still the GOAT. Tom Brady? He's still the GOAT. He's still trying. <laughs> you know, he had a tough loss here in the last playoff game against the – Great game. Great game. All right, uh, Alex Fridley here. Let's 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 who are the top ten running backs in your opinion? Let's. Oh, the running backs in my opinion. Well, just yeah. No, just name the list. Just name the list. Yeah, you know, the list is your opinion, okay? Really? Right, let's, play it off like this? Right, let's keep our composure. Jonathan Taylor, number one. Nice. Nick Chubb, number two. Joe Mixon, number three. Najee Harris, number four. Dalvin Cook, number five. Antonio Gibson, number six. Ezekiel Elliott, number seven. Elijah Mitchell, number eight. Derrick Henry, number nine. Damian Harris, number ten. Oh, this is a good group of guys here. I mean, yeah, you see Derrick Henry down there. He he suffered an injury at the beginning of the season, and he still put up 937 rushing yards. And he gonna, he and he he just he just couldn't show his full potential this year. I mean, he's the best running back in the league. But Jonathan Taylor obviously performed the best out of all running backs this year with 1,811 rushing yards. Well, Nick Chubb is a – yeah, he had a couple games he was out. He didn't get to play all his – didn't get to play the whole year. And the man we aren't seeing on this list here is Christian McCaffrey. He is the – one of the most – Talented players in this league, but you know he is very injury prone, and he was not able to take the field much this year. The Panthers, God, they suck. <laughs> Holy crap! All right. That's what it's looking like. Uh, you got Joe Mixon. Yeah, yeah, Joe Mixon. He's been pretty solid for us, you know. I had him on my fantasy team. He did pretty well. Dude, I had Ezekiel Elliott. I get Chubb like every year on my fantasy team. And I tried. I didn't get him on my fantasy yeah, team. Cried. Oh, yeah. Did you shed some tears, Alex? Dude, Chubb is my favorite, man. I love Chubb. Dude, Nick Chubb is chubby. I love Chubb. That's why I'm not. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you love Chubb. That's it's a podcast. Let's uh, pause. Let's the pressure. Ezekiel Elliott, though, he's a little inconsistent. You never know. He may have, like, a 100-yard rushing game, or he can just do, like, two. Because they ha also have Tony Pollard in the backfield, you know. They, oh, wait, now you're talking about Ezekiel Elliott. We're talking, yeah, we're talking about yeah. Zeke right now. You know, Cowboys. It's so random sometimes. It's crazy. Yeah, you never know. All right, I think we're going to move on to our wide receivers. Devontae Adams, Tyreek Hill, Justin Jefferson, Deontay Johnson, Mark Andrews, Keenan Allen, Jalen Waddle, Hunter Renfro, and Stephon Diggs. 
Well, let me tell you, Cooper Cup, he had himself a year. He had a, the triple crown in receiving yards, receptions, and touchdowns on all receivers. You ain't ever seen somebody do it like that, like him. I mean, mm mm. And he has that uh, nine receptions up by, looks like about 22. So, mm -hmm. he is a leader. And you see Devontae Adams right behind him. He is the one of the best receivers in the, in the league. I'd say my top five right now. I'd say Devontae. Uh, I'd say number two. I put. Shoot, I'd, I'd say. Uh, this is a hard list, actually. I'm, I'm gonna need more time to think about this. Brooks, you got any? You got your top? Five? Do you have a top five receiving list, or are you just? Uh, yeah. It's gonna go Cooper Cup, uh, mm -hmm. Justin Jefferson, um, Devontae Adams, and then Jamar Chase is in there on this list. Mm -hmm. And then I'd probably throw in Stephon Diggs behind there just because he's about ready to get old. Yeah. I'd say, the, in my opinion, the best receiver in the league is Devontae Adams. Right. And then I'd go Cooper Cup. You see what he did this year. He's, I'd say number two. Number three, I put – I'd go with Justin Jefferson. He had a – really proved himself this year with, you know, Kirk Cousins under under center. You know, he's he's terrible. Yeah. And then uh, Stephon Diggs, yeah, he's a good route runner. And then Jamar Chase, he's probably the best rookie. This year, I don't keep track of any wide receivers, so I got nothing to talk about. I don't even keep track of football. <laughs> That's a problem, man. <laughs> <laughs> this is no clue what's going this is on. what the podcast is about. Is the whole podcast going to be about football? Yeah, it's like, like we one. can't have any other topics. No, I mean like <laughs> we can next week. Next week we'll have to do something yeah. different. I'm lost. Well, all right. So, so uh, as things come, I guess let's go around the horn, guys. Uh. Uh, who y'all think the most valuable offensive player in the NFL is this year? Me? I'd go. It's a tough one between uh, Cooper Cup and uh, Jonathan Taylor. They both had exceptional years this year. You know, Jonathan Taylor, he could run the ball like it was nothing. 100-yard games every every single time. But I'd honestly give, I'd give the edge to Cooper Cup because he, he – he was the lead receiver in yards, receptions, and touchdowns. You don't ever see anybody do that ever so often. I'd say Cooper Cup. Right. Cooper I'm going to go Cooper Cup. Why is that? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just think he's a good all around guy. <laughs> Bigger, number, better person? <laughs> yeah, but we had 145 uh, recesses. <laughs> recesses? I know what you said. Receptions, you mean? <laughs> but when he was in elementary school, he was going ham on these little kids. Like jackpot the whole time. All right, Alex. You'll never guess it. Is it Nick Chubb? <laughs> yes, Chubb. You think it? We love Chubb. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's keep it. Let's keep it PG. Keep it PG for the kids out there. Come on. <laughs> All right, and uh, my, this one's a little tricky, but I'm gonna go Joe Burrow. Ooh. Why is that? I mean, he's just a young quarterback, started off the season with an injury, and now he's thrown for 4,600 yards and the two best teams in the Super Bowl hopes. So, yeah. yeah, I'm going to I'd say for my you think he's heart carries? What? Still missing one in there? Uh, I, th I think he is. I mean, he's got, I mean, he's got weapons. Of, yeah, he's got some weapons, but, I mean, he's on those Noah Mama type cookies. Oh. That's a good analogy. Okay. I like that one. That's good. I like that. Yeah. But in my opinion, and you know how the NFL MVP awards work, it always goes to a quarterback. I'd say that I think they're going to give it to Aaron Rodgers this year. I don't think so. Well, really? if you look at because Tom Brady again. I mean, I if I if I could pick, I'd say Tom Brady, but I think it's going to Aaron Rodgers because just because he's Aaron Rodgers. Just the things he's done for his team this year, but you know, besides losing, losing to the 49ers. Yeah, that's tough. Yeah. <laughs> and it's crazy to see Tom Brady performing like, like he is at the age he is right now. I mean, he's got over 5,000 passing yards, but you know, they all hating on him. Yeah, 
All right, so let's go. Let's have a look at the other side of the ball. So, who do y'all think the best defensive player in this league is this year? You think you could read off those uh, the top ten tacklers, Anthony? Please. Yeah, that's right there. Boy. Or lock on. Oh, lock on. Or lock on. <laughs> Jordan Brooks, Bobby Wagner, C.J. Mosley, Laquan Smith, Denzel Perryman, Devondre Campbell, Kaiser White, Eric Kendricks, and Cole Holcomb. All right, and so we're missing a few other stats, like with like the secondary and like sacks and all that. But there are a lot of good defensive talent players this year. For example, T.J. Watt. He tied the all-time sack record this season, and he plus he missed four games. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Mm-hmm. That's impressive. That's so slippery. Yeah, he's probably one of the best edge rushers in the game. And I'd say on our corner quarterback on our cornerback side of the ball, Jalen Ramsey's just he's just the best. Brooks, you got any? Needs? Yeah. You more of an offensive type of guy? Yeah. Yeah. Well, like, um. Mm hmm. Yeah. Sacks. Sacks record, yeah. Mm hmm. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's really no other other question in my opinion. Yeah. And then with this Defensive Player of the Year award, people would like to make an argument for Trayvon Diggs because of all his interceptions he had, but. When you see him in coverage, he's getting burnt, burnt, burnt. And apparently, he's given up over a thousand yards of receiving this year. That's not very good. Mm-mm. No, no, no. He had like eleven or twelve. This is not good. He had eleven or twelve interceptions, but I mean, you can't guard Debo Samuel. I mean, beautiful. Is that why Debo isn't even on this uh, top ten receiving team right now? Well, Debo is an all-around great player. He is not just he can run the ball. He didn't even throw it. I mean, mm-hmm. That's enough bias. Yeah, all right, guys. Uh, <laughs> all right, well, who do y'all think is the most valuable defensive player this year? Anthony? What do you... <laughs> I've honestly have no idea. I don't think I've watched one NFL game this whole entire season. Okay, well, if you could just <laughs> give us a name. Yeah, just say a name, yeah. I'm going to go with Bobby Wagner. Okay. Just because of his tackles? Yeah, why? Why do you like him so much? Yeah, he's got some good tackles. Had about a, he had one, one sack. Could have could have been better. I mean, I, yeah, he's I a linebacker, so he's he's a middle linebacker. He's yeah, really he, he could have it could have been better. Yeah. Well, I get that. I get that. He's your favorite. He's your favorite guy. And he's like, yeah, he, he could have done better. Yeah, he Alex. Better. Alex, you got a you got a perspective on who the DPOI is. Uh, Raquan Smith is actually Raquan Smith. Smith. He is a good. Yeah. He's a good. I linebacker. can't say his name, but very slippery. He's got good hands, hand placement. So, Whoop. Did you say he was slippery? Yeah. That's what people call people on defense. Like, if you're mm-hmm. hard to, like, get, like, as an offensive player, if you're hard to, like. I'm glad to know he's very slippery. Roquan Smith, though, he only had. I would just back off that comment. Roquan Smith only had. <laughs> you said he's really slippery, like, getting through defensive yeah, lines? Yeah, like. He only had three sacks this year, Alex. Yeah, but it's still like TJ Watt had twenty two yeah, and a half. Awfully slippery. Twenty two and a you half. You don't even know anything. You just say your name. Well Yeah. Okay. Whatever. I will retract my statement. Okay. All right, uh Thank you. We'll move on. <laughs> All right. Uh, I never got to see my pick now. You said you didn't have well, you got a pick now? <laughs> You said you didn't have much, much perspective on the defensive side of the ball. You're more of an offensive type of guy. Uh, well, yeah. You got like a, you got a, you got your candidate. <laughs> well, yeah. You got your candidate though. Yeah, I do. Who, who is it? It is um, yeah, it's my. <laughs> it's my guy. Who is it? It's got to be T.J. Watt. Yeah, without a doubt. I mean, you can make the argument with Aaron Donald, but like. Yeah, he benches 500 pounds. Yeah, but like T.J. Watt, no one's stopping him. All right, so let's we're gonna turn to the Super Bowl. It's coming up here in a few weeks. Valentine's Day, Valentine's weekend. Mm. 
So who do y'all think is going to be in the Super Bowl this year, guys? The four teams we have to choose from are the Bengals, the Chiefs, the Rams, and the 49ers. Championship games are being played this weekend. Go with the 49ers and the Bengals. Okay. Do you have any reason? Uh, I just like the names. Oh. <laughs> wow. All right. Okay. All right. Ridley, can we hear from you? I think the Chiefs and the 49ers. Okay. Why is that? I mean, the Chiefs have always had a good team. Mm-hmm. They're pretty good. Yeah. They had a little bit of defensive problems at the beginning of the year, but they seem to figure some things out. Yeah, like they're always uh, ironing things out. Mm-hmm. Like they usually do. Yeah. All right, Brooks. You got any? Uh, I'm going to go uh, Bengals and Rams. Ooh, okay. Because, uh, I mean, I think Joe Burrow is hot right now. Mm-hmm. But the Chiefs' uh, defense is uh, really locked in. I think the Bengals are going to take away with it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I think the 49ers got lucky beating the Packers if I'm being honest. Well, uh, it so, was like zero degrees and snowing. Yeah. It was yeah. a hard game to play. Yeah. But, I mean, the Rams are just on a roll right now. So yeah. So I think, I think the Rams will beat the 49ers pretty easily in that game. And then the Bengals will get their foot by the Chiefs. Yeah. I agree with you, Brooks. I think the, the Bengals and the Rams are going to be in the Super Bowl. Because, you know, um, Joe Burrow, he's got Jamar Chase, T. Higgins. Uh, Tyler Boyd, Joe Mixon. I mean, their offense is just lights out. And then I don't think the Chiefs' defense will be able to handle them. And then, like, the 49ers and the Rams, that's going to be a good game, I think. Because as you can see, they 49ers, obviously, they were a lower seed in this playoff, and they, they've made it all the way to the NFC Championship. They beat the Packers. Who did they beat first? Was it the, who was the, the Cowboys? Yeah, they beat the Cowboys. Mm-hmm. Cowboys are my grandpa's favorite team. Well, the Cowboys are. T- <laughs> tell your grandpa your his favorite team. I just thought I'd add that. The more you know. Love you, Pop. <laughs> and tell your grandpa his team shout, sucks. Shout out to Graham. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, shout out to Graham. Your team's trash. Could you possibly move your face away from the mic a little bit, Aaron? Well, she's been screaming at the mic for the past 10 minutes. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Well, I, let's get back to this topic here. <laughs> I think the Rams, yeah, the Rams are going to come out with a win because their offense is – you got Cooper Cup, Odell Beckham Jr., Matthew Stafford. But when it comes down to the Super Bowl, who do y'all think is going to win? Bengals. Bengals? Okay. You got a reason or are you just saying? Pretty sure it's probably going to the Rams. Oh. Valid reason. <laughs> wait, wait, okay. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Wait, <laughs> Anthony, what was your first pick? <laughs> the Bengals. <laughs> but like, the first two teams that you said were yeah, I got no clue. No clue. Uh, I don't know, it was the Bengals and the... Uh, oh, you said the Bengals and the, the, Bengals and the 49ers. That's what it was. Yeah. The Bengals and the 49ers. No, yeah. I I mean, a tiger can kill a human, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah I, I think the Bengals would deserve the win. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't think they've ever won. What? Uh, have they ever won the Super Bowl? The Super Bowl? I'm not sure about that statistic. Do I they? think... I think every team has won. No. Uh-uh. I don't think every Mm-mm. team won. No, I'm a Panthers fan. We never won one. Oh, yeah. Texans, nah. When the Falcons is in the Super Bowl again? Falcons, you know, that whenever they can never. manage to come back from, it's the, never gonna happen. you know, 28-3. to three. Oh. <laughs> All right, Alex, what's your, uh, pick for the Super Bowl? So you just picked the Chiefs and the 49ers. 49ers. So who, who you got winning? I honestly think, like, anyone could really, anything could really happen. But I think the Chiefs are going to win. I think they play the most consistent out of most teams. Yeah. But it's like the Rams have played crazy good. And I mean, every team has proved themselves that they're in the Super Bowl worthy. Mm-hmm. So. Wimp. Brooks. I think that the Rams are going to slip away and take this okay. one. Uh, I mean, it'd be nice for the Bengals to win with a young quarterback like Joe Burrow, but. Matthew Stafford, a veteran quarterback, he uh, yeah. he's kind of new to the Rams. They, like, barely made it to the playoffs whenever he was playing for the Lions. So, mm-hmm. him on the Rams, I hope they can get it done. Yeah. I'd agree with you, Brooks. I think the Rams are going get, to get the Super Bowl this year because their offense and their defense, both sides of the ball, are very dominant. And I, I think that defense is going to be too much for Joe Burrow because he's a second-year quarterback coming off an ACL injury. 
even though their offense is electric, I just think Joe and Ramsey, you know, Donald all them, they get their job done. And I think Matthew Stafford, he can perform well like he always has this year. And I think he's on. I just think the Rams are winning it all, but, you know. Boy can dream. Yeah. Well, Chiefs are. The Chiefs are about to lose. Alex. They probably will. Mm -hmm. It is what it is. Only well, actually, you never know because you see the, the game with the Bills. That was a great game. But I think if the Bills would have won that coin toss, I think they would have got the – I think they would, the outcome would have been different. The Bills would be in the AFC Championship right now. But overtime rules, you know, it's yeah. unfortunate how that how it works. Anthony, you look really lost right now, man. I'm, I'm just soaking up the information. Okay. Just make like a podcast about just Chiefs and Anthony. Yeah, I think it's an interesting time for me. You know, yeah. about football. You know. Yeah. Well, thanks, gentlemen. That's all we have for today. Join us next <laughs> next for the next crab talk on Spotify, iTunes, and YouTube. And we'll see you then.